I'm fishing with a new friend today. John from Hardman Fishing Adventures. You've seen his videos all over YouTube. He's an incredibly skilled fisherman who fishes hard and regularly puts big fish in the net. He's a conventional fly fisherman. That is, he uses a rod and a reel. I, on the other hand, fish a tenkara rod. I want to keep the tone of this video positive, but I'll briefly share some of my opinions here. It seems to me that some people would have us believe that tenkara anglers and fly fishermen can't get along. And frankly, I find that really disappointing and a bit confusing. Because after all, we're all out here casting flies, trying to catch fish, and enjoying the process. I myself love the pull of a fish without a reel dampening the sensation. A big fish on Tenkara makes you feel alive. But I also wish, regularly, that I could cast further. And that I could catch large fish on tiny flies without bending out the hook. My point is, there are many advantages to both of these types of fly fishing. And I think we could all stand to be a bit more tolerant of each other and try to learn about and appreciate the differences. I'm actually planning on filming some videos for my own channel using a rod and reel. And I sincerely hope that someday as a community, we can all have a place here on my channel to gather. Where you're welcome, whether you fish Tenkara, rod and reel, or any other type of fly fishing. So let's get in there. New friends, new water, a stunning sunny day in a beautiful rugged canyon, and let's see what we can catch. Some absolutely massive holes on this river. Really, really cool to see. Cold water, house-sized boulders, big trout. That's the name of the game today. I'm out fishing with uh, Hardman Fishing Adventures today. We kind of got connected through a uh, Tenkara video that he did. Super nice guy. So uh, he's out here visiting and um, I showed him a cool spot. So we're down here today. This is actually my first time down here. Kind of heard some things. He has definitely been having some luck moving some fish. He's caught some pretty nice browns. I'm not having a ton of luck yet, but uh, I'm confident we're gonna get into some fish here. Absolutely. Oh, had a hit there. Using a jig streamer. Popping it along here, follow, a follow. No commitment, that looked to be a rainbow. Decent sized rainbow. Back in we go, I'm trying to stay low here. Water's pretty clear. These fish have a reputation of being skittish. Ooh, nice take there. There we go. Right up in the shallow water behind that rock. <laughs> see ya, buddy. <laughs> I still see ya. <laughs> That's all right. First positive connection of the day. We're gonna keep grinding it out. These fish, they're hungry today, I know that. It's only a matter of time. There we go. A baby. I'll take it though. Pretty fish. <laughs> hey, at least I'm on the board, man. <laughs> Jeez. First fish. What a beautiful, beautiful brown. I feel like I might switch my rig up a little bit. I don't think the streamer's killing it for me. Like, I feel like 
you know, you're able to get a long cast and get it, get the. So I, I'm having them follow, but I'm not really able to give it as much action. I don't think they're reacting. They I think they're. Smack and line here readily. Yeah. I'm not looking all of them, but. Right. <laughs> I've been throwing this streamer, throwing a dry dropper here, with the waltz worm at the base. Very first cast. Got a little brown here. Hit the dropper. Lovely. Beautiful patterns on that fish. Thank you, dude. I was getting kind of frustrated with that streamer. Tons of really slow follows. With Tenkara, I was just having trouble really working it fast. Uh, John, he's been moving fish, catching fish, left and right. He's able to bomb nice long casts and um, really move that fly with big long pulls of his fly line. And that has been working. That fast presentation has been absolutely killing it. Meanwhile, I've been struggling. So enough of the streamer. We've seen a couple of fish rising for dries. Um, so I figure, hey, why not throw on a big chubby, drop one of my favorite uh, subsurface flies below it. That's a natural hare's ear waltz worm with a copper bead. Uh, in this case, I'm fishing it in a size 14. And man, that first cast, fish on. Let's see what else we can find in here. There we go. All right. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh. Popped off there, popped off. Got a lot of trees behind me. Not a ton of room to uh, fight the fish here. Wasn't able to keep as much tension as I'd like. Let's, uh, let's make another run through here and see what happens. Boom. Nicer fish, nicer fish. My gosh. Oh, he's pulling hard. Great fish here. Very nice, very nice. This will be the biggest one of the day for me by far, but, but we're just getting started. Just getting started. All right, all right. Well, that's a dandy right there. 14, 15 inches or so. Let's hit this back, Eddie. Kind of river kind of circles around, flows back towards me here. We got some nice structure. There we go. <laughs> Knew that was gonna happen. Absolutely 100% called that. Saw that fish. I didn't see him visually, but I knew he was gonna be in there. Oh man, we're gonna have a great day, guys. That streamer was not working for me, but uh, this sure is. Fish on. He was hiding right in front of this boulder right here. Love how brown trout are always chilling in little secret zones. Very much ambush predators. Nice fish. Right here, right in this slack zone, right behind this rock. Get ready. Come on. I know you're in there. Oh, dry fly hit there. There we go. Oh, coming down the waterfall. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Great day out here. Another beautiful brown. They are voracious today. There we go. He's more in this zone right here, right here, right here. Oh. Come on. I want to catch a truly big fish today. There we go. Nicer fish.
Could be a, yeah, this is a rainbow here. Ooh, putting up a good fight. There we go. First rainbow of the day. Absolute gem of a specimen. Heck yeah. There he is. 14, 15 inches, all muscle. Love it. There's an absolutely massive brown at the back end of this pool. That's my target. Made a few passes through there, no bites. Let's try, uh, let's try casting around a little bit. Into the eddies, ooh, oh. What the f dude? <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm a mess. My whole line just got ripped out. <laughs> As I think back on the day spent fishing this wildly beautiful yet treacherous place, the difficulties certainly stand out. But I kind of like that. The challenge of coming to this large river and trying to catch some fish on Tenkara was really fun and rewarding. And most importantly, I made a new friend in the process that I am sure to fish with many more times in the future. At the end of the day, it comes as no surprise to me that two fly fishermen, no matter how different our fishing methods were, couldn't help but have a good time fishing together in this incredible place. If you'd like to watch John's video from the same outing, click the video above. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.